what is up? It is almost Christmas, as you can see. And uh, in the spirit of giving, I decided that I would give you guys the most gracious gift, and I will teach you how to cook duck meat. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I invented this by any means, um, but uh, <coughs> it is tried and true, and I've fed it to a lot of people that really enjoy it. So a lot of people will cook duck. They will cook it into finger steaks or chili or stew or uh, jalapeno poppers. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that people cook duck and they're palatable for sure. Um, but I can only cook so much duck stew. I mean, if I'm shooting on average a hundred birds, that's a lot of duck stew. That's a lot of duck chili and it's just not plausible. So today I'm going to show you how I cook duck and uh, how to do it correctly so you can enjoy it. All right guys, so here are my ingredients. I've got uh, mayonnaise, I've got pepper, and I've got salt, and that's it. As you can see, these are the breasts from my first blind taste test video, which was a mallard here and a uh, golden eye hen here. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I prep these and how I cook them. All right, so um, the first thing, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is you have to leave the skin on the meat. The fat is underneath the skin and you have to leave the skin on. That's one of the crucial parts. So once you're finished plucking the bird out, the next step is seasoning it. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is you wanna cut through the skin layer here. Um, and that helps the fat render out of the skin when you cook it and that's kind of important, okay? So once you're done doing that, I kind of did this already, but you're gonna heavily salt and pepper all right, all right now I'm talking heavy salt and pepper, way more than you think that you will need. And then you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna do the same thing. Try not to get my salt and pepper shaker gross. Heavily, heavily salt and pepper these. All right, so the next step is uh, the mayonnaise. And this is kind of where my recipe differs from the other guys. This is literally the only part. Um, I'm gonna take this mayonnaise and the side that doesn't have skin on it, which is the side that's up, obviously, I'm gonna put mayonnaise on it. You're gonna think that this is weird and gross or whatever, but let me explain this to you. And there's, there are a few, um, really prominent chefs that actually will coat their steak in mayonnaise and the reason that they do that is because it gives it an extra layer of fat. Uh, duck meat is really lean and it doesn't have a lot of fat on it and that's why you have to keep that skin on and adding this mayonnaise it's kind of like putting butter on a steak it helps add a layer and it crisps it really well um, but it stays on a little bit better than butter and you don't end up tasting it in the end so I go ahead and I coat this with mayonnaise um, and then the next step is cooking it. All right guys, so I put a little drop of olive oil in there and I just kind of spread it around, get it nice and hot. And then the next thing that I do is I sear it and make sure that that pan is hot, okay? So we're gonna sear both of these. And if it doesn't shrink and sizzle like that, then it's not hot enough, okay? I'm gonna sear both of these for one minute on each side and I'm literally going to keep a timer one minute on each side, okay? All right, so we've hit a minute on this side. I'm gonna flip it over. I got a nice good sear on there. Okay, flip it over for a minute on the other side. All right, the smaller one is obviously the golden eye. This is the bigger one. So one of the things that I do, and I've done this so much now, um, I don't burn the pin feathers off anymore before I cook it because it's kind of a pain in the butt, especially if it's fresh and it's wet. I actually wait until this point, and then I burn off what pin feathers, and you can't see them, but I can see that there are some on there. So I go ahead and I burn all those pin feathers off of there on the uh, skin side. That way, they're gone. Now, from there, I'm literally back to my minute mark. So I'm gonna take it out, because I've hit a minute. I got a nice sear on both sides. Skin side down, in a pan, okay? Separated. Turn that off. I'm gonna throw those in at 400 degrees for eight minutes. 
Boom. So the reason that I'm cooking it at 400 degrees for eight minutes is I want this bird to come out a perfect rare to medium rare. Anything past medium rare um, is pretty much trash. Uh, that's when duck starts to really taste like liver. It's when it really starts to um, become kind of pasty and the meat is just not good. So uh, 400 degrees for eight minutes. Looks like we're about finished. We've got 30 seconds left. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to pull these out of the oven. And then when I get them pulled out, I'm going to let them rest for five minutes, skin side up. Um, when I put these in the oven, I put them skin side down. That's important, and I forgot to mention that before. But when I let these rest on the plate, it's going to be skin side up. And uh, I'm going to take the fat from the pan, and I'm going to drizzle it on top of the meat uh, while they rest. And so um, from there, the uh, blind taste test will begin. All right, so here are my two duck breasts. They are looking amazing. I can tell that the uh, golden eye is smaller than the mallard, um, and hopefully that doesn't mean that it's cooked too much. So I'm gonna take these off this pan, and I'm going to flip them onto a plate, and I'm gonna let them rest. And you can see all this fat inside of this pan. Part of that is mayonnaise, but the majority of it is gonna be from the duck meat itself. And a lot of people don't know this, but uh, duck fat is like one of the most highly revered I guess for lack of better words right now type of fat in the culinary world and so they use it for all kinds of stuff lots of times if I don't uh, if I don't do this I will save this fat that comes off of these birds um, in a jar in my fridge and then uh, I will add it to potatoes or uh, vegetables or whatever it's a really silky um, very smooth fat and it doesn't have a lot of flavor like Bacon fat has that really, really strong salty bacon flavor. Duck fat is not like that. It's almost like a really smooth oil. Um, and so I'm gonna let these rest now for five minutes and then uh, I'm gonna cut them up and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so my timer's up. My meat is finished resting. And so now I'm going to cut them and transfer them to the separate plates. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna cut them into slices. I'm gonna show you one what these are supposed to look like inside. So here's the mallard. Okay. Look at that. Nice, medium rare inside that, inside that bird. So I'm gonna keep cutting these up. And this is the mallard here. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so I got a couple slices off of that. Now I'm going to cut up the golden eye. Also looks good. I'm going to cut a big thicker slice. I'm trying to even up, keep my slices kind of even. All right, so I've got a couple pieces of that. If you are not cooking duck like this, you are cooking it incorrectly. Um, it tastes amazing like that so if you guys like this video go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel and uh, that way you don't miss the next one thanks again mm, that's good